loser, freak. Mental. Tea's up. Stuart, Evening Standard. Anna Odette gave me your address. And it's getting worse? Off the scale. And more since you did the TV interview. Oh, yeah. You could just, um, talk me through, uh, a bit of what you've been experiencing? Yeah. Um, so, in the interview, we were debating the rise of trolling in social media. And the usual guy had been delayed, so they put Mark on in his place. Mark Picard? We were at uni together. He attacked a mate of mine. Really? No one saw. It was just her and him, but... She was really drunk, and... He shagged her. Anyway, uh, during the interview, uh, we were talking about how men hate women and just sort of came out. And then that's when the online abuse started. Mm. I mean, look. This, this is actually polite in comparison to some of it. I'm just gonna record a little bit of this if that's all right with you. Mm -hmm. All righty. So, you post something. Immediately there's abuse. From? And then what happens? I block them. But then five minutes later, there's 30, 40 more. I mean, it's relentless. It's like a war. I'd, um, I'd close my account, but I do. They win. And you reported it? Hmm. And initially, they were sympathetic. It was actually when I asked them what they were going to do about it, then I was blocked. By? Jerry Butte, the head of PR. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna talk to my editor. I think this is worth a double page spread, especially if we get other women involved, we, we could... No. I mean, you have to stand up to them. I know, I know. Charlie, you just said it. it's a war. Come on, this could be the biggest thing after Levinson. We need legislation, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Don't let those bastards get away with it. abuse is that it's so easy to forget that it's a real person you're attacking. And it's mainly because there's no immediate consequence. So, what makes these guys go from online selfies to rape threats? Anonymity. Boredom. A need for attention. I get put to language. Gang rape? Cutting? They need bigger and bigger shocks to make them feel that same rush. So who are they? Hardcore misogynists. It's bored guys. You know, probably not working or in menial jobs. Unhappy, I mean, certainly frustrated. Sounds like every guy in my office. 
And you sit next to one at the bus stop, you probably wouldn't even look twice. So what do we do? Call the police. No. I have a much better idea. Hey, princess. That was my favorite girl. Love you too, sweetheart. Put mommy on, yeah? Yo, what do you think you're doing? Have you any idea how disappointed she wants to see her dad? Yeah? Right, well, congratulations. I hope you'll both be very happy. Works in his office. Jerry's an exercise nut. Always has his lunchtime run. Okay. Wait, is that him? You know what to do. Jerry, right? Okay, I'm gonna slash your pussy and let you bleed to death. I know where you live. I'm gonna rape you till you die of AIDS. I'm gonna break into your house, tie you up, and cut off your tits. Leave no, me alone. Sorry, Jerry, I'm Charlie Wright. I've been trying to get in touch. About the trolling? Good Jesus, could have made an appointment. Connie Stewart, Evening Standard. Does your organization support abuse against women? What? No. Are you ignoring women's complaints? No. Do you have any idea how many women receive abusive comments? No, but... Are you prepared to do anything about this? Sure, but... Your office or mine? Card. It was very sweet of you, but I can't accept that. I'm sorry. You know, if things are getting on top of you, then... They're not. How's your mum? Not good. You know, I've been there, Billy. Six months I looked after my dad. It's not easy, is it, trying to keep patience all the time, being tired, trying to have a life yourself. If you ever want to talk about it, then... Billy? It's not always going to be like this. You know, when they're gone, you're... you're going to miss them like crazy, but things will start to get back to normal. You know, you'll start going out and... dating. There is light at the end of the tunnel. I've seen enough. You know, Charlie's been getting this sort of abuse day in, day out for months. She asked you for help and all you did was block her. Look, I'm trying to run a business. Who cares about a few dikey women? No, look, let me talk to my colleagues. We'll see what we can do. Is it true you're in a bitter custody battle with your ex? What's that to do with you? Those kinds of things can make you angry. Connie, 
Maybe you're not too bothered about women getting it in the neck. Maybe you think we deserve it. Connie! Uh, look, it's like it's for your time. We've been talking to your wife, Jerry. Oh, oh, enough. We should go. Don't you get it? They're all in this together! The patriarchy! Oh, thank you for your time. Connie, what the hell were you thinking? No, you get angry, you lose. You're the hypocrite. At least he listened. Charlie! It's all I can get, but maybe it'll help. Jerry, look, I was out of line. It's fine. What is it? A helpline number. Could he be any more patronizing? Right, I need to head off. So I see you heading back to your office. Yeah, yeah. I walk with you. I'll call you later. Yo, c'est moi. Have I got news for you? The scoop of the decade. Okay, okay, not the decade, but these broads give great copy. So you think this is one of the trolls? Why else would he give it to me? Wait, that's... That's the name of somebody who's in my building. He's sweet. He's not the brightest, but it's okay. But then why? His mom's ill. Maybe he... Look, Saskia, it's no excuse. You're gonna go in and see him. Wait, no, you can't. Oh, how about I just say hi to your mum? I'm sure she'd like to know her precious son's been up to go on where she's... Wait, no! Get... Stop! Off me! It'll frighten her! So what, you frighten me? Oh, those messages? I'm sorry. Why'd you do it? Why? I I've never done anything to you. I was bored. You were bored? Can you leave, please? My mum is not well, and I can't. No, I, I need you to stop. Now! I have. Months ago. Got a new job, and I didn't have time anymore. You're lying. It wasn't me. This is you. It's not. How was it? It's not him. I told you he was sweet. No, he, he has in the past, which is why Joe could get his IP address, but he hasn't for weeks now. So who? Dunno. Whoever they are, they're some crazy fuck. Oh. Judge me, okay? We got what we wanted. My first ever double page spread. The end justifies the means. <laughs> exactly. Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. 